Hello, today we have Kong Do, president and CEO of BioV, which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol BIVI. Kong, welcome back. Craig, thank you so much for having me back. It's great to be here. For viewers who may not be familiar, can you start by giving us the big picture, Kong? What is BioV's mission? How is the company working to change patients' lives? BioV, frankly, is trying to change lives by addressing some of the biggest unmet medical needs out there today conditions such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, which do not have effective treatments, as well as conditions such as long COVID and ascites, which has no therapeutic treatment at all today. So we're hoping to change that. Now, your lead drug candidate, Bezosterum, is in development for Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and just as you said, long COVID. What makes this single therapy so versatile across these major diseases? Bezisterm modulates and inhibit inflammation at just the right place and time. It blocks the production of TNF-alpha, which is considered to be the master regulator of inflammation. So when you have inflammation and the associated insulin resistance, it triggers a cascade of things that happens downstream and just been, it's the triggering point for many bad things to go wrong in the body. So in our clinical trials, Parkinson's patients treated with Bezisterm have seen improved muscle control. Right? In our Alzheimer's trial, patients have seen a 68% slowing of cognitive decline after just six months of treatment compared to placebo. And the number one side effect was a slight headache that disappeared after a day. Right? And in long COVID, nothing works out there for long COVID today. There's no therapy. And it, within the last couple of years, researchers have found that long COVID symptoms of brain fog, malaise, and fatigue is associated with inflammation that works through exactly the same mechanism that Bezisterum affects. And that's why we're the only company that has been given a grant to test Bezisterum at, for some of the CNS effects of long COVID. So one drug, one mechanism, lots of different applications. As you said, lots of different applications. Let's get specific. What do you think are the market opportunities? How large are the market opportunities that you're targeting with Bezisterm? Well, there are a million Parkinson's patients out there. So we believe that Parkinson's alone could represent a three to $5 billion annual sales opportunity for Bezisterm in the US. Alzheimer's, we believe, could be a $30 billion indication for Bezisterm and long COVID, there are 17 million Americans suffering from long COVID today. So that could be a $20, $30 billion indication as well. BioV also has a late stage program for ascites, a serious liver condition with no FDA approved treatment as of right now. Explain to us, please, Kong, the problem those patients face and how BIV201 could change their standard of care. Ascites is the late stage liver disease. And by, by the time you get to this point, the liver has gotten so scarred that it's not able to process fluid the way it normally does. So fluid builds up and gathers in the abdomen, right? And the only thing that you can do is under ultrasound, stick in a large bore needle and physically remove that fluid. And since nothing has been done to address why the fluid accumulates to begin with, those patients are back in the hospitals or the emergency room every week or two to get another five to 10 liters of fluid removed. Now, you can just imagine the strain that puts onto the body. BIB201 is the only drug in development for ascites. In our clinical trials, patients take, who completed our treatment saw a 50 plus percent reduction of ascites fluid build up, right? And it's unheard of compared to other treatments out there. So we have been in discussions with the FDA and we now have received all the feedback that we need to go and conduct a phase three clinical trial to bring ascites uh, BIV201 to market. And since we have already received orphan and fast track designation, we only need to do one clinical trial to bring it to market. And we hope to get that done relatively soon. Your management team, including yourself, has deep experience across pharma and biotech. How does that expertise position BioV to execute on its strategy to create value for shareholders? 
Well, everyone of our team has over 30 years of experience working in pharma and biotech. Our chief medical officer has developed drugs um, for CNS at J and J, Mitsubishi, and so forth. Our head of reg regulatory came from the FDA, and so frankly, the expertise helps us design better trials, helps us execute and conduct better trials, and hopefully avoid the mistakes that other companies make by trial and error. What are some of the key near-term milestones investors should be watching for in the next, let's say, 12 to 18 months? The next 12 to 18 months will be a very exciting time for us. We have two clinical trials currently underway. One is in Parkinson's, where we're hoping to show that Bezzi's theorem could help slow the progression of the disease. And that trial is expected to read out in the first half of 2026. And similarly, we have a trial in long COVID, and where we're hoping to show that this could become the first therapy that can help address the debilitating symptoms of brain fog, malaise, and fatigue that goes along with long COVID. That trial also is slated to be read out in the first half of 2026. So we believe um, the next 12 months will be fundamentally, will lead to fundamental changes for patients. In summary, Kong, what is the essential value proposition? Why should investors take an interest in BioV right now? I believe BioV has one of the most exciting portfolio in biotech today. We have clinical trials underway or slated to be started in Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, long COVID, and ascites. Multiple, multiple shots on goal. We have two clinical trials that are slated to read out within the next 12 months. So I believe that we represent one of the best buying opportunity for investors who have a longer term uh, planning horizon. And I say that not only because I'm the CEO of the company, I'm also one of the larger shareholders in the company as well. So I believe we represent an exciting investment opportunity for shareholders. Kong, it's been great talking to you again. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me back, Greg. It's been great to be here.